After getting our first look at Robert Pattinson's bat suit this past week, we have some new information on what Catwoman could possibly look like, and some more details on the plot of the film. What is up, Flick fans? Welcome back to my channel. We've been talking about Batman for quite some time now, and we finally got our first official look recently at Robert Pattinson's bat suit, and with that comes so much speculation on what it's going to turn into, and my favorite part personally has been seeing the fan art online, whether it's color grading to look like what we think the color scheme is going to actually be, or what this picture is here uh, showcasing the top half of the mask. Now, this is fan art, right? This is not an actual legitimate image, but it gives us an idea of the curvature of the ears, where they're headed, what it could possibly look like. And I love this picture right here. Someone actually structured a diagram <laughs> around the mask, comparing it to the classic Batman design of Bill Finger and showcasing the curvature in the ears to show us what it could possibly look like. Uh, we'll get that later on, definitely. It's just cool that we got our first look. But uh, now we have a brand new quote-unquote leaked image from Reddit. Now, there are a lot of people people posting a lot of things on Reddit, and I want to say this, even though this first picture looks legitimate, nothing I'm about to talk about has been confirmed by any source. Uh, these are just anonymous people all over Reddit claiming to be a part of what's happening beyond the inside of everything, and this first image is actually pretty cool because it's a look at Robert Pattinson's chair on the set of the Batman. Now we see the word vengeance. Obviously, that's what Batman stands for. I am vengeance. I am the night. I am Batman. Uh, but it could also be what the name of the production is under. I haven't actually uh, looked into what the filming title is of this film. Normally, a movie goes under a completely different title when they are filming. That could be what it is. It could be vengeance. Or they could just put it there because... You know, vengeance. Batman is cool. Uh, but there's just something about seeing Robert Pattinson's name in that font in the red underneath the name Vengeance after seeing what we saw this past week with him in the bat suit and of course the red filter over that video so it's cool seeing that match up and I do actually believe this is legitimate because it looks exactly like what it would look like just being the chair on the set but the whole point of this video is to dive deeper into what this specific person on Reddit actually posted because along with this picture of the chair saying he's there and he has a bit of information he also has some information on what the Catwoman suit could possibly look like and a few tidbits here and there surrounding the plot. Now before we get into that I do want to read a quote from Zoe Kravitz just to give you an idea on her mentality for playing the character of Catwoman and this comes from Variety. She says it was a little scary uh, but also whenever I get nervous about something I feel it pushes me to a better place so I welcome the nerves. If you start focusing too much on what people are going to think you're doing yourself a disservice. That's the truth. It's almost like you're putting your energy in the wrong place. Of course, I want to honor the fans, and I hope they like what I do with the role, but in order to do what I think I need to do with Catwoman, I have to go internal and forget about the rest of the world. I love that mentality. Now, obviously, if she's playing Catwoman. She wants to do it as faithful as possible, but we don't want the same old interpretation that we've seen before. We want something a tad bit new. We want her to take it in a new-ish direction and I love her diving deep into her own mentality and uh, going about it the way that she needs to as an actress so that's cool then she goes on to talk about how cool it is actually working with Robert Pattinson but we won't dive into that what I do want to dive into is this uh, quote-unquote anonymous reddit user that posted this picture of Robert Pattinson's chair who was answering a few questions in that subreddit about what Catwoman's suit would look like how would you describe the Catwoman outfit. And this user who has apparently deleted the account either nervous that they would get caught or uh, once again this could be just a completely ridiculous claim but it's been described as biker leather a cat helmet. Now, it could possibly just be a goon since it was a stunt woman, but we do know that Zoe Kravitz will most likely not be doing the majority of her stunts. They go on to say they have seen Commissioner Gordon Catwoman. Now, they haven't seen the full Batman in the suit just yet, but they have seen Bruce Wayne. Says Pattinson does look good as Bruce. As a comic fan, he looks like a billionaire a-hole. <laughs> so, yes. And how would he describe Catwoman? Two words. Leather boots. And we don't get a lot from that, but what we do get kind of goes along with what we've been hearing the rumors of the last couple of weeks. Catwoman is going to be of the style 
of her Arkham Asylum, aka the video game counterpart, in the same vein of what a lot of people are comparing the Robert Pattinson Batman suit to, and that is a slight variation, well, a variation, absolutely, of his Arkham Asylum, Batman's Arkham Asylum suit in the video game. So if we look at these pictures, this kind of goes along with the biker leather and the cat ears on the helmet. You know Zoe Kravitz is probably going to want to showcase her face. So I feel like her Catwoman suit is going to look almost exactly like what we're getting in this picture. Now, we have no confirmation of the goggles, but I would absolutely want to see the goggles included. That way, you know, she can hide her secret identity. It's not all, oh, that's who Catwoman is. Uh, and I just think the suit looks really cool. You know, it's, it's very different from what we've gotten so far from Catwoman. It is, I guess, similar in its own way to the Anne Hathaway Catwoman suit. I just feel like Zoe Kravitz is, is definitely going to put her own spin on it once she's in costume. Now, we do have some other rumors going around, and this doesn't necessarily take away from what we've heard so far, but it puts a bit of a different spin on it, saying the Catwoman suit is inspired uh, by these particular pictures, saying there will be a backpack climbing gear. She belonged to an elite military group, and now she's in it for her Herself. So that doesn't necessarily mean we won't see what we just described, uh, but she'll have some extra gear, some climbing stuff. I hope she has the whip. I hope she has uh, some of the things that we know Catwoman for. But it's really cool knowing that the route that they're going is most likely going to look like what we know from Catwoman, just more modernized, seeing the face, seeing the cat ears, seeing the mask go around the face, and then, of course, the biker-like leather. Uh, all of those things make for exactly what I would like to see in the character. Now it just comes down to, what are we getting from this character in the actual movie. What part does she play? Another cool uh, aspect that this Reddit user threw in is when he went on to say that filming started recently. Now, not many action sequences have been shot, but today's scene included a car ramming through a lobby door sprayed with Riddler markings. So the Riddler is now getting involved what does this all mean? I just think it's really cool that we're finally seeing remnants of all of these different villains come into the story. And then, and then, another piece of news, this is a long video, another picture that was posted on Reddit, and, and just, I'm gonna keep reiterating this, keep in mind, this is Reddit, it's nothing is confirmed, but, uh, I even get these, right? I sign up for these casting calls when movies are casting, when movies are filming, they will send out uh, notifications for as many people as possible to come in and be extras, right? Well, we know this movie is filming near Liverpool, and this email states that there will be a funeral role filming on these particular dates in March, and a new sequence will be a Halloween party sequence filming in Liverpool, looking for people to be passerbys and partygoers in this sequence. So the ongoing longtime rumors of this film focusing on the, the very famous Batman story, The Long Halloween, is looking to be more and more likely the further we get into it. I believe it will be that mixed with maybe Batman Year One, It's even though it's Batman technically Year Two, but they're going to mix in both of those story elements, especially if you look at uh, what characters are involved right now that we know about. Man, oh man, this sounds absolutely fantastic. So hopefully we'll get our first look at you know, a Catwoman, a Riddler, a Penguin soon, just so we have an idea, so I can stop talking about these leaks. But that's what this video is all about. It's all about the conversation. It's all about you guys getting in that comment section and letting me know how are you feeling about these characters, which element of all of the things that I've talked about intrigues you the most. And if you enjoy these Batman videos, my playlist is in the pinned comment down below. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button. We will definitely do more. We will continue to cover this movie until the day that it comes, and then we'll talk about it some more, and hopefully it will be great. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll be back very soon uh, with another really cool video talking about my favorite directors of all time. I'll see you guys soon.